What's up CJ's Keto Kitchen family? This is CJ and Sarah. It's a Wednesday and that means it's time for another Keto Conversation. So let's get started. All right, so if you've been around our channel for any length of time, anytime you see this box, you know that it is our monthly review of the Keto Crate. Uh, this is the month of June. Nope, this is the month of July 2021. And this is our review for, of this month's crate. I have not looked in this box. I think Sarah has. Uh, but if you don't know what Keto Crate is, Keto Crate is a subscription box. Keto Crate curates the box with many, a lot of other companies to put their products in the box. And it's a good way to find out about new keto products or be introduced to new keto products every month uh, if, you like those type, if you like that type of thing. Uh, it costs $39.99 in the U.S. It's free shipping in the U.S. Uh, to Canada, it's $39.99 plus $10.99 shipping to Canada. And unfortunately, they do not ship internationally. So again, this is, these are going to be our honest impressions of the items in the box. Sarah's looked in the box. I have not, so I don't know what's in the box. The box does feel heavy uh, just from me feeling it. And we're going to get this thing rocking and rolling. So we're going to do a full review of all the products with a taste test, which is what we normally do and have been doing for years. So, you got anything to say? Nope. All right. I'll Happy 4th of July. We're filming this on the 4th of July. So yep. 4th Happy of July. Happy Independence Day. Okay. I've got some water because somebody suggested that maybe in between I drink water. And it's also hot. To cleanse your palate from all the different tastes. Alright. So... Where's the big card? Is there a card there in here? There should this be one? a card in here. Maybe it's at the bottom. Okay. All right, all right. And of course, it does have the Fourth of July or July theme on the card. So this is a little catalog that they put in every box, and it talks a little bit about the products. It has some success stories in here, and there's generally a recipe as well. Sometimes it includes some of what's in the box, and sometimes it's just a recipe. Yes. So that's always nice to have. And what I failed to mention is, is that we do have a discount code for the Keto Crate. It's um, $10 off of your first box, mm -hmm. first box only. Uh, but feel free to use that code. It's in the video description below. <laughs> Okay. All right, so let's get start, started. So the first thing I see is an IQ bar. I really feel like I need that today. It is a banana nut flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pass Sounds it to good. you so you can okay. look at the information. It says it has three grams of net carbs. So okay. we don't um, do every ingredient in what we get, and we don't do the complete macros. Basically, we'll, we let you know the total carbs and the net carbs. So it's the, the total carbs. Okay. So the total carbs for this is 11. Okay. Okay. So we, so we do total carbs because we do have some people that that's how they do keto. They count or low carb. They count total carbs. If you don't, don't worry about it. Tastes very banana-ish. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. good, good banana flavor. Yeah. That's good. You see this? Mm. Okay. Are you feeling smarter yet? Mm -mm. No? Mm. Maybe Not you yet. have to eat the whole bar. But we so just smart. started. Yeah. So, all right. Next thing is from a, pro a company called Better Than Good Snacks. Mm -hmm. uh, these are veggie infused protein grab and go puffs, and they are tangy barbecue flavor. So the total carbs is four. So I guess it's four carbs because there's no fiber. So well, what's that on the front? It says two cups of two fruits cups? and vegetables. Okay. Yeah. So it's four carbs if you eat the whole bag. So that's for the whole bag. Four carbs. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they're veggie infused protein puffs. And some of these products, some some of the brands we've had stuff before, and then a lot of times we'll 
it'll be something new. I or it'll be a different flavor from right. the same brand. Yeah. Seems like I've heard of these folks before. I think we've had their pizza uh, puffs. Yeah, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't remember. But this is barbecue flavor. Mm. Very barbecue-y. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Which is appropriate because it's the 4th of July. We we're, are going to be barbecuing. Yeah, we're going to be mm -hmm. barbecuing. We've got ribs in the slow cooker. Go on the grill. Can I have that? Thank you. Sure. Okay. Those are pretty good. At the end of the video, we'll both talk about our favorites. And then we'll put a link in the video description also where you can look at all the products, all the costs, because we don't know what these cost. Uh, and you can also see if there's any discount codes for the products. So, but at the end, we'll talk about what our favorite products are for the video. So this is from uh, Umland's Natural Foods. It's crunchy cheese, uh, Gouda flavor. And we normally get some kind of crunchy cheese product. Crunchy cheese product. And I will give you that for okay. the macros. It's one carb, it says on the front. And that is for a quarter of a cup. And mm -hmm. there's three servings in this bag. And it's got a rippy, rippy resealable, which is always nice. Keeps your cheese crunchy. Smells good, I can smell it. That's pretty good. Usually I'm the one with the cheesy jokes, but today yeah. it's CJ. Well, we just spent seven days in very close contact all day long. So all those jokes have worn off mm -hmm. on me. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. The cheese jokes have worn off. <laughs> all right. That wasn't bad. Mm -mm. It's good. It is. Good flavor. Yeah. And, like? Gouda, and Gouda is not really a super strong cheese, generally. So for it being a mild cheese, they do have really nice cheese flavor. Yeah, good flavor. I like those. This is from the folks at Good Sam. Um, good Sam, being an ally small for, far, for small farms. Okay, lots of stuff on that package. Mm -hmm. These are dry roasted and salted macadamia nuts. All right. Okay. So the folks... The company is, I believe, Good Sam is the name of the company. Okay. So they're macadamia nuts. Mm -hmm. So that should be pretty straightforward. Yeah. Um, Are they flavored or anything? I didn't see a flavor. No. Nope. Just a salted. Just salted. Okay. So the total carbs for the entire pouch, which is one ounce. So this is actually the typical serving size generally when you eat nuts is an ounce so and that's how much is in here okay and the total carbs is for the dietary fibers too which is about right for macadamia nuts so it's about two net carbs if you eat the entire one ounce mm -hmm. so it'd be kind of interesting same as those costs and how they come i'm assuming that they come in in a bag or a can well no i'm assuming that they might come like that but maybe in a package with more than one Pack. I don't know. It's, it's interesting. It'll be interesting to see. You mean if it comes individually like this? So? There's like macadamia nuts. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like macadamia nuts. They taste fresh. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. They do taste fresh. They're fresh. They're not. If you've ever had a stale macadamia nut, you know exactly what that tastes like. Yeah, these are very fresh. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's a feat by itself. It for is. For them to be fresh. It is. Every month we get some kind of meat product. Maybe two, and there could be another one in here. This mm -hmm. is from the folks at, um, this is an original smoked beef stick from is it this? Land Crafted Food. Land Crafted, hey, that's pretty catchy. Land Crafted Food, never heard of them before. Uh, it's a, an original smoked beef stick, and I don't see any macros. A lot of times there aren't macros on for the meat, meat sticks. sticks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it says it has one carb on okay. there. So, so now you know. And I think you, they usually have a, you know, rip. I just want a small piece. Okay. You want this? Yep. Thank you. So now, just so you know. Full disclosure. We're not. Well, that wasn't what I was Oh, I was, was going to say, full disclosure, we're not really... 
That was that wasn't what okay. I was saying. But yes, I do normally say that. We we this is really good though. Mm, good flavor. But we're not really big jerky or beef stick people. But this was very flavorful. It is. Very I will flavorful. say that. Mm -hmm. I will say also that uh, Sarah and I are both fasting these days. So now she's been fasting for a while. I just started like two days ago. So this is we're eating. We're we're within our eating windows to do this. So anyway, just letting you know that. Not sure why, but you might be fasting, and if you are, you'll understand what that what that means. So a lot of times, um, you know, people ask about snacking and things like mm -hmm. that. And so um, for us, generally, if we are practicing some kind of time restricted eating, we will eat some of these products with or as part of our meal. So. Yeah, yeah. So now this is a cookie from the folks at the cookie department, mm -hmm. uh, which sounds really official. It's a keto <laughs> cookie. Uh, cake walk, which is, I guess, the flavor. Birthday cake plus sprinkles. Now I can tell by holding this cookie that it's actually broken in the, on the inside. So which I mean, is stuff probably happens. hard, yeah, to get it it's, that it's not a, happen. It feels like it's a fairly soft cookie. We've had something by those folks before. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think we've had that cookie before. Right. So the serving size is the entire cookie, and it is, as CJ said, fairly large. Um, the total carbs is 21, so it's a little bit high for a single item if you are practicing total, total carbs. Carb. Yeah. So um, it has 11 grams of sugar alcohols in it and six grams of fiber. So it's it's four grams if you're practicing net carbs. Right, right. And again, we got- And that's we, fairly, that's sorry, that's yeah. fairly common with cookies, bars, yeah. anything like that because there's usually a substantial amount of fiber. They put a lot of fiber into them and that's how they're able to get and the carbs And this one has, down, also has sugar alcohol. And <laughs> sugar alcohol, you basically can subtract and subtract it from the your the macro count or the carb count. Generally, uh, your body does uh, has a different reaction to sugar alcohols, and mm -hmm. that it doesn't usually raise your blood glucose. But everyone is different in mm -hmm. that. That's a really good cookie. Mm -hmm. mm. I think when we showed that when we had that before, we said it before, and that's a really good cookie. Very good flavor. Yep. Very authentic birthday cake, um, funfetti. You know, any mm -hmm. of those strong vanilla. Mm -hmm. Cakes, yeah, that's good. Very good flavor. I like that. Yeah, really good flavor, and it is soft, like CJ said it would yeah. be. And I don't. And again, we don't know how much these cost. I'd actually be interested in seeing how much this cost. And and I will say, I guess, full disclosure again, we go through the package, but we don't. It's not like we buy everything that's mm -hmm. in the box from the companies, or or because uh, sometimes we look at the link just like you will, and we'll look at the cost and we'll say eh, that might be a little bit more than we want to spend for what this is. But, you know, that's just a decision you have to make. But we also... Conversely, we have purchased... Conversely, we have purchased some items yes. that we've discovered through the yes. Keto Crate. Yes, several, with several different companies. Yes, so. several different companies. All right, so this is from the folks at High Key. Uh, these are mini cookies, and they're chocolate chips. And I have seen these locally. I have seen these at Target and some of your other stores similar to that. Yes. So they are starting to be more widely available. Yes, very good point. Yeah. So for these, it is one gram of net carbs per serving. So the total carbs per serving is 12. And then it has two dietary fiber and nine erythritol. And the serving size is seven cookies. So the little mini, the little mini cookies, and it does have a reclosable thing that I didn't open very well. Okay, it tastes like a Chips Ahoy or any of your other um, firm cookies, crunchy cookies. Yeah. Mhm. Mm tastes like a keto cookie. Mhm. Mm Chocolate chip. Yep. It's got good flavor. Good flavor. Mm -hmm. You know. Be good with coffee. It's funny because we live in the Pacific Northwest and our state just officially opened back up on June 30th. Now we were on the other side of the country in Georgia, Texas. Basically the entire, on the other side of the United States yes. completely. And so it's funny because, you know, the rest of the world is, or the country is opened up and Folks are running or around. Or never shut down. Or never <laughs> shut down. 
you know, and it's just funny to us when we go out, it's like to see all, you know, everything and how people are just living. And I don't know what my point was, so I'll cut that out. <laughs> there actually was a good point here. Oh, I was going to say, if you're going out to, if you're going out to movie theaters and you had some of these snacks, especially these point. cookies, yes. this might be one that you can get in there. I don't know. Maybe y'all don't sneak stuff in the theaters we do. But, You're not living if you don't bring some you know, of your own we, food. You know, we bring our own food <laughs> when we go to the movie theater. Especially if you're practicing a low-carb lifestyle. Yes. They probably aren't going to have much for you at the yes. concession stand. Yeah. So if you get the keto crate, that's something you could think about. Because you got a lot of snacks here. You could sneak them in, enjoy a movie. And even at your house, you can enjoy a movie. And um, have a couple of goodies. Yeah, have a couple of keto goodies for you. So this is from the folks at Keto and Co, or Keto and Company, uh, peanut butter crunch keto granola. That sounds yummy. Wow, that does sound yummy. That sounds real yummy. Yeah. That would be good as a crust on the cheesecake that we just made, oh. the three ingredient cheesecake, okay. or like a parfait if you're looking for that idea. And I'm not sure if I said it, but this is peanut butter crunch flavor. And on the front, it says 2.7 grams of net carbs per serving. So the serving size is a quarter of a cup. Usually a quarter of a, of a cup to a third of a cup is your general serving size for, for keto granolas, just in case you wanted to know that. So the total carbs is 11, the dietary fiber is 6, and then the sugar alcohols is 2. So that's where they're coming up with their 2.7. So, and this bag has 10 servings. So it's pretty good sample yeah, size it's, bag. It's uh, yeah. pretty, pretty, pretty large. Pretty weighty. Yeah. Pretty large. And it does have a resealable <clears throat> closure. Uh, and I should say also that we do not eat all this food like off camera. You know, we turn off the camera and then we just It takes chow us quite down. a while to go through this. It'll, it'll take us about a month for us to go through all this food. And something like this cereal. You know, especially if it's both fast in there, it'll mm -hmm. take us quite wow. some time to go yeah. through it. Good. Mm. Mm. I taste coconut. I'm not a big coconut fan. In case you didn't know, welcome to our channel. CJ's anti-coconut. Yep, coconut chips. I like it. So, I guess I'll You know what? It. It's just it's just a personal thing. <laughs> I can take coconut, but take it or leave it. You made things with coconut, yes, and it's good, but I, I, you know, I just taste it, and so it's not. It doesn't have a strong peanut butter taste. If that's what you're wondering, that's true. It does have more of I, the coconut. I taste. get more of the coconut mm -hmm. than I do the peanut butter. In fact, I would almost say this is is coconut granola. Coconut granola because I got more coconut, and I'm still kind of chewing, and I don't. I still haven't got peanut butter yet. So it's maybe very, very subtle. Maybe butter. when you put some almond milk on it or macadamia nut milk on it, maybe you get it then. I don't know. Maybe it's like moisture activated. Yeah. Let's I do guess that. you could put it into some nut butter let's, and then it would really be peanut buttery. Let's do that. Let's say that. <laughs> and some moisture activated. Moisture activated. <laughs> Alright. So this is from the folks at Southern Recipe Small Batch. These are flavored pork rinds. We see this brand in the store all the time. We shop at Winco. I don't think, and we live on the West Coast, mm -hmm. so Winco's a chain that we have. You know, we were stuck in Texas for a day, um, right uh, in Euless, Texas, and we were at a hotel because of the problems of our flights. And right down the road, we didn't know this because we didn't have a car, there was a, what is it, Aldi's? Aldi's, Aldi's. It was like, uh yeah like a mile away yeah and it, we would have probably walked although it was you know nah, 90 degrees we have walked, but we might have caught an uber yeah if we didn't know it was down we've there. never been to aldi we don't have all these here yeah we don't have them here and so it would have been fun to do that but we but shop back, we shop at a store called winco and they have them we right have, but i've never brand. seen this flavor this is pasilla chili cheese so okay. they're yep. chili i've never heard flavored. of that flavor but we see that brand all yes. the time and my favorite is the Korean kimchi barbecue. And some of the, and some of the brand is if you if they sell it in the store, yet you do have to watch the macros because some of them are most of your flavored pork rinds do yeah. have some uh, maltitol type 
things because that's how they season and flavor them. So it's pretty rare that you find a, a flavored pork rind that does not have that in it. So the total carbs is less than one gram and it's for a half an ounce and there's four servings in this particular bag. And what's the flavor? Pasilla chili cheese. <laughs> I think pasilla is a type of pepper. Is it? Yes. Okay. So there might be, might be spicy. It might be spicy. Yeah. Okay. Smells like pork rind. Tastes like a pork rind. Mm -hmm. Tastes more barbecued to me. I don't taste anything. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. I'm going to drink some water. <laughs> Cleanse your palate of the coconut granola. I don't taste anything. Nope. Still not. I, I don't get any spice. No. No, I don't either. Um. It looks like it should be spicy if you just look at it. Because it's kind of reddish. Kind of reddish. Red. Mm -hmm. But I'm not really picking up on any kind of spice. <laughs> just feels like a pork rind. I mean. Yeah, they're fresh. Yeah. Oh, no, they're good. Yeah, the but pork rinds themselves are fresh. They're not. It doesn't. I mean, I guess I was expecting something else by the fancy name. So. <laughs> um, <clears throat> all right. That's Revo. Rebel? Rebel. I would say it Rebel. Okay. Rebel Snacks is the company. These are... Lord, are you serious? Rebel Snacks is the company. Another treat for me. And these are double dark chocolate. Guess what they are? Coconut bites with granola filling. Okay, so wow. All right. Anyway. <laughs> we'll try it. Because sometimes people use coconut just for texture. Well, there's coconut you know, in my in my I, hay sack, and know. you like those. I know. So, but sometimes coconut is just used for texture. It's just texture, and, and you don't really even taste, taste it. Taste the coconut. So, we'll see. So we'll I see. I guess you're the perfect person for this kind of snack, though, because you're not really a coconut no. fan. So I can you take think it it's good. And this comes in a little tray inside the bag. Oh, that's cool. So, I'm gonna show them. Go ahead and pull it all the way up so it comes in a little tray. Comes like that. I've got you can one. Really see them, but so the net carbs, it's eight grams total minus three grams of fiber minus four grams of allulose. So it's one gram net carb per serving, and the serving size is two bites. So two bites. Two of these, yeah. So there's four servings. This okay. one's already broken. Let's eat that one, because then we each get a piece. Okay. So, this was double dark double. chocolate. Mm -hmm. So I get the peanut butter texture. Not peanut butter. I get the coconut texture, but the double dark chocolate is canceling out the. So you're not getting coconut flavor. I'm not getting as much coconut flavor. Is that correct? Yes, but I'm still not gonna fight you for these. I mean, they're good. I like them, but they're. I just, they're soft. Yeah, they're, they are they're soft. They're very moist. These probably would be good with, again, with a glass of almond milk. Because they almost remind me of a, the texture of a brownie. Yes. A little mini brownie. Agreed. That's what they remind me Agreed. Yeah. of. Um, they are, the chocolate flavor is very good. Yeah. I like those. Yeah. Yeah. So that is the end of the stuff in the box. Uh, I guess those, uh, those macadamia nuts are organic. So we didn't, we did not talk about that but the good Sam uh, macadamia nuts are organic. Okay. I wonder where they're from. It says Connecticut on them I believe. Really? Mm -hmm. But they're actually a product of Kenya? Yeah okay. Yeah Kenya. So if they're organic and they're from Kenya then they probably practice um, sustainability by working with the locals. And well they... this is this person on the car her name is Lucy. Mm -hmm. She's from Kenya. They practice she has, fair trade. She has a regenerative organic macadamia farm in Kenya. And a lot of times 
uh, practices like that, fair trade, means that they actually pay American prices for products that are from another country. So it's actually benefiting these small farmers because they're getting a lot more for their products even though they're in another land. Sure, so. sure. Anyway, so that was just a car that was there. What were your favorites? Um, I really like the Rebel Snacks as one of them and the Cookie Department Cookie. And I like the peanut butter, even though it doesn't taste like peanut butter, granola. Mm -hmm. Those were my three favorites this time. Okay. And what about you? Uh, I think I like the cookie department cookie. Um, I like the IQ bar, which was a banana nut flavor. And I like the Gouda cheese uh, from the folks at Umland's. Uh, natural foods. It was Gouda. It was so, very Gouda. Yes, mm -hmm. it was very Gouda. So anyway, uh, again, this is the Keto Crate for the month of July 2021. Discount code, if you're interested in $10, $10 off your first box is in the video description. Um, you can start and stop your subscription anytime you want. And you don't have to tell us when you stop. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, give us a call. You don't have to tell us. You know, it's, it's fine. So, we, we like the Keto Crate. Uh, we, we've been doing working with them for quite some time, and we do like exploring new products. As Keto has matured uh, over the years, there's more and more products available to people. So if you're starting Keto now, there's all, kinds of, yeah. there's all kinds of things available to you versus back when we started, you know, four or five years ago. In so the Keto Dark Ages. Yeah. So anyway, if you're new to our channel, these are this is our Keto Conversation segment. Uh, we do this segment every Wednesday. We do not do food unboxings all the time. Sometimes we do. We always do the Keto Crate once a month. We may do another unboxing uh, later in the month, but we do grocery hauls. We do what we eat videos on Wednesdays. Lifestyle. And then sometimes we actually do talk about relevant Keto lifestyle topics because we live keto as a lifestyle and not just as a diet. And so we'd love to have you as part of our family. We have recipes every Sunday. And the only way you'll know about any of this is you have to subscribe, or you don't have to, but we, you have to. we would encourage you to subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you know when we upload new videos. Thanks for being here. We hope that you had a great uh, 4th of July, safe 4th of July, and we will talk at you later. Bye-bye. Peace.